What's going on, Virgos? Sending you all love and light. This is the extended uh, reading for the shorts that I posted um, yesterday or the day before. So you might want to go and look at that. I will attach it here as well. Um, but the energy that was coming through, okay? And before I get into that, I know I'm jumping the gun. Thank you for um, the likes, shares, the subscribes. Thank you to anyone that's purchased the reading or donated to my page. Thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate you all uh, for rocking with me, for finding me, etc. Okay. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. This energy could be masculine or feminine, or this energy could be vice versa, could be reversed. You guys put the energy wherever you need to. Okay. So getting back to this, the energy of the short was that you may have been dealing with someone that you were questioning. And you were questioning what was going on with them because they could have been pulling back their energy uh, from you and doing other things or being aloof. And the reason why they were doing this was because they felt like they didn't want to be a stepmom or stepdad um, when it came to your child. Okay, This person could have had children or could have children on, of their own. Um, and they feel some sort of way about their own. And when it comes to them possibly having to be in someone else's life and help that person with their children, they don't really feel um, like this is something for them. Now, this is a person that may have grown up in a one-parent household, okay? Maybe their mom or their dad wasn't present. They, de they dealt with step-parents, so they have a nasty taste in their mouth when it comes to that type of scenario. Uh, but when they think about you, yes, they do want you. Yes, they do like you. They do care for you. Um, but your children or your child is what is scaring this person off. And they are the type that they don't want to hurt your feelings. They don't want to tell you the truth. So they may be doing things that keep them aloof or keep them moving away from you or you feel like they're pulling away from you, etc. Okay, so I pulled some cards just to continue with this energy. Now, this person may be hanging out a lot right now, maybe hanging out with their friends, maybe going out, having a good time. Um, I feel like this is their way of avoiding the questions that you may have, or this is their way of avoiding um, them telling you a truth. They don't want to mess up what they have with you, but they don't want to tell you this truth either about how they truly, truly feel. Okay. The world card energy is next. Right. This is what fulfills this person where they find happiness. Um, Spirit is saying that this person could be a good parent to your child. But they would first need to shift their perception on that. Right? Someone needs to understand here that, yeah, I'm not asking you to come in and be the parent for my child because my child has a parent. I'm asking you to be in my life. And when you come into my life, that means you also come into my child's life because we're a package and I'm not asking you to be a father or a mother to my child. I'm asking you to be someone that's responsible and someone that can stand up and someone that could give my child good guidance if they need it, right? This is what you're saying. Like, you're, you're to be a sounding board for my child. You're to be someone that they trust, someone that they feel like they can confide in and someone that they feel like they um, are comfortable around. This is what someone is asking. They're not trying to make another mom or dad for their child. They're just trying to have some sort of harmony, okay? So a perception change is needed here for this person. Once the perception change comes in, right? And I do feel like this person has the power to do this. Now, this person is teetering on either walking away from this situation or ending this cycle with a person or they're saying, hey, can I do this? Can I change? Can I think about this in a different way, right? This is where they're at right now. We're going into Ace of Pentacles. This is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, right? I forgot to say this is Cancer energy with the Three of Cups, the World card, of course, and then, you know, Ace of Pentacles, um, Earth sign. Could be dealing with the earth sign 
um, just like yourself, or this is you, or Spirit is saying, hey, this is your energy coming through, okay? Um, I feel like you're working on yourself, Virgo, right? Maybe new job, new career, right? Maybe you're starting a new business, but basically you're working on your prosperity. When it comes to your life, you have a lot to offer, and you want someone that's going to be trying to have that foundation with you in all ways, whether it be uh, financially or, or spiritually, emotionally, um, physically. Uh, you know, you want to have someone that's on your level and that agrees with your vision and understands what it is that you're trying to do with your life, right? This is what it is. That foundation is here. A promise for success, given both people are on the same page, right? And you move slowly towards that goal and don't try to rush it or don't try to, you know, shove something down somebody's throat, right? So it is telling me with this reading here that this person will be able to show love or will be able to offer love, page, energy, okay? They'll be able to offer but they first have to go through this transformation of thinking in a different way. And really digging in and exploring their emotions, um, trying to figure out how it is they, they really do feel. This person is going to have to tap into the hurt and the pain that they felt when their parent was missing and they had to deal with a step parent. Right. And they're having to transmute that energy to see it for what it was. OK. Was this a good um, step parent for me? If they were, how and what ways did they help me? In what ways did they show up for me? In what ways did they validate me? And the hurt and the pain that I had in my life because of my true parent, right? Someone is going to have to do the shadow work before they will be able to stand up for someone's child. And it may take a minute because they're running right now. They're doing everything else. Um, that they feel makes sense or keeps them you, detached from a situation of seriousness uh, with a person, okay? So I, I say this to you, Virgos, if this is not the type of scenario that you see yourself being in and you see someone that may be running away from uh, the responsibility of being, um, you know, uh, a positive person in your life and that of your child's life, then this may not be something that you want to pursue. Okay. Um, I see that this person has the power to change their perception, but it's going to take some time. And I don't know how much time you guys are going to be utilizing when it comes to, you know, having a partner that is true in your life. Right, so this is something that you definitely need to think of and try to figure out what is best for you in this case. Right? So let's clarify. Okay, so we have the three of cups energy. This person is hanging out, they're doing them, you know, they're out with their friends, you know, having a good old time because this is the way to avoid either having the conversation or the responsibility. Of, um, of attaching themselves, right? I feel like this person also has attachment um, issues, okay? They don't like to get too attached to people, places, and things because they feel like those people are gonna go away. And this could be something that stems from their childhood wounds as well, right? So uh, clarifying the Three of Cups, we have the Eight of Pentacles energy. Okay, so this energy coming through is also Virgo, right? We're in your reading. You're working on yourself. Spirit is saying that you may need to turn this energy away from this person and to yourself. Okay? Why? Because they may not be on the same page as you. And this is a time when you, you know, need to become the expert of what it is that you're looking for in your life. And really go after that. And don't let one person take your confidence away. Okay? You're looking for someone that not only helps you 
to maintain financial security, someone that helps you achieve your goals, someone that helps you learn new skills or someone that can teach you some things. But this person is going to need to come in willing to be a participant and always, not just in the way that they choose, okay? So the perception change with this person, right? Like I said, I feel like it's going to take some time. <laughs> We got the three of cups in reverse. <laughs> we have three of cups upright, three of cups in reverse. Okay. Thank you, Spirit, for coming through. Right? What is this? This person is sabotaging the connection with you because they just don't want to be the person that you feel like they could be. I know that they could be this person based on what Spirit is giving me here, but they don't want to be this person. Right, they're doing a bit much right now. Maybe getting drunk and ha having fun and hanging out and you know doing all types of things. Okay, um, their energy is one of detachment. Your energy is one of I want to see if we can make this work. Okay, so with this Eight of Pentacles energy, right? You want to have a foundation with this person, but. You know, I feel like this is going to turn out to be a lost opportunity for the both of you because this person is not going to be uh, invested in this process or in this journey with you. Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands energy. That's fire sign or Scorpio. Right, this person is very ambitious. They're passionate. They're they they um, good looking. Okay. Um, they like to flirt with you. They they are very flirty energy overall. Okay, they like to take risks. So when it, when you look at them, Virgo, they have a lot of the elements that you like in a relationship, right? They're full of energy, etc. You have a lot of fun with this person. However, this person they may have moved really fast, or they may have um, a butterfly type of personality. Um, you feel like they're not reliable for you right now and they're not someone that could be reliable for your child or your children at this time so this is something that you really need to look at right you don't want to have a friends with benefits type of situation you want to have a good foundation that's going to be something that you and your child can benefit from going uh, forward you don't want someone coming in with in and out energy either okay um, so this is like you also having a perception change with this situation of you, you know, uh, may, may need to release this energy and stop hoping that someone is going to change. And maybe spirit is talking to you now, trying to get some other aspects of uh, what could happen or what you should have in your mind. Look, I have the world card. Thank you, spirit. Right. I have the world card out here twice. Spirit is saying in this cycle with this person. Because they're not going to shift their perception um, anytime soon. They're not. Right? You're going to be investing in something or trying to build a foundation with someone that's trying to do something else. So you guys are going to be on two different paths. Right? Spirit wants you to have everything that you need. Spirit wants you to have completion with a person that comes in ready and willing to be a positive uh, light in you and your child or children's lives. Okay? Um, this is not the person from what I'm seeing. Even though this person does have the potential of being who you need them to be, they just don't want to. Okay, and you know, at the end of the day, we all have free will and this person will be exercising theirs. Okay, so this is what I have. I'm sending you guys love and light, my Virgos. Okay, you guys take care.